Mulvans is happening. The caravan. So much work, money and time gone into this. It's getting very busy. So yeah, it's awesome. It's been emotionally hard and physically hard. 3D printed. Look at him go! That is sick! Yeah! Yo guys, how's it going? Another vlog, this is it, Mulvans is happening. So as a lot of you are probably aware, last time it happened I think was 2018. 2019 it was all but going ahead and it got flooded out. And I know Cy lost a load of money and refunded loads of people, but a lot of people just kept their entries for 2020. Then we all know what happened in 2020, it's not even worth mentioning. 2021, it's back and it's on. We're about to leave. It's just taken me half a day to load the van. Let me just show you how loaded up the van is. That's the middle bit. Because we've got a stand there. That's all our merchandise and all sorts of stuff. Bargain basement boxes. Then, over here, I've got to be really careful opening this. We have in here, <laughs> I don't open it properly, generator. We've got the jet wash, we've got six bikes, we've got all the stuff for the easy up. Absolutely rammed. Oh look, there's me. Then we've got the roof tent, we've got the awning, but this is the best bit. Look what I've done to the caravan. It is wrapped to painted black. I've just washed the front if it looks a bit weird there. Um, more pin stickers coming. Got a few already from Invisi Frame. But uh, yeah, it cost me 250 quid to do that, basically. So when we're going down the road, if you ever see us, you can't really miss us. Um, a bit bodgy there, but I think there's some chemical got behind it, but not bad, considering I did it myself. And I've never done anything like that before. It's an absolute bastard to mask off. So that's it. We are now leaving Shrewsbury. It's only like a couple of hours, if that. And uh, let's get to Worcester. She is. Should I get the van graphic off? I'm considering it now. We are here. We have arrived on site. We're actually a day earlier than like all the traders so it's just workers here today it looks really really impressive um god there's so much work money and time gone into this very organized it is very organized here is the pits well the pits are sort of everywhere massive i think there's like a hundred stands or something that is the downhill bit here is where we are i think unite is going to be here with the six meter awning ours is three that's the downhill track. Got the dirt jumps. Oh, so much to show you. I'll show you all this later as it sort of happens. For now, we need to get this set up. I think we're going to go over there and spend the evening with Stu and the lads tonight. And then we are allowed then to park the Navarac right there next to the fence. So absolutely brilliant. So that's it. We are set up. What do you reckon? Looks all right, doesn't it? Might have some more flags being delivered. Let's go on the other two corners. This lot can stay here. We've got to move, actually. We can't stay there. We're going in that field over there, but Stu's over there with a borrowed caravan. So we're going to set up with him and the boys. Move it now. We're set up. So we are, you can see it, kind of through there, the other end of the bogs. You can just see the ion flag. So oh, uh, this is like the pits uh, trade area. So I've got the the Navarac there. Stu's here in this weird caravan. It's like a motocross weird conversion thing. It's like a big old back end for motorbikes. And then it's like a little 
It's like a little caravan inside. Got some good electrics and stuff there for all the hookups. Double bed up there, and I guess that rolls out into a bed as well. Yeah. Quite cool. Quite cool. Quite unusual. Quite like it. Do you like it, Mr. Hughes? Quite like. Yeah, I like it. It's better quite than like sleeping it. in a tent. Yeah, quite like it. Quite like it. Quite like it. Absolutely wonderful. Are you race you boys racing here this weekend? Yeah. What, yeah. what events are you racing? Competing in? You won here, didn't you? When we did it. No, yeah, I won ago. the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Down Big hour. big field. Yeah. Three in it, wasn't it? It is a big field. It's about three acres. <laughs> Where's the little one? Yeah. You racing this weekend, little one? Yeah. Hey, what are you racing? Uh, my new proof mega. What event? On um. Riding the DH1. Okay, good luck. Thank you. So this is going to be our camp. There's more people turning up over the weekend. Cassie and Purdy and her mate, so that's wifey and kids tomorrow, and more mates of mine, Stews. It should be a good weekend. Good morning. We are on day two now. This is Thursday. Day two for us, not day two for the festival. We have set up. As you can see, I'll take you to the pinned camp. First time I've ever had all the bikes on display. We've got the Ebes in the bike stow. We've got the flags, We've got the graveler on the odd rack. Toz jump bike, my enduro bike, the ion seats, the special green carpet, Todd's bike, and Todd, the easy up, We're pinned on top. Uh, more flags attached to it. We've got some just arrived over there with Sean from Ion. He's right by us. Uh, he's got some rocky flags. Uh, all the gear here displayed. It's all for sale. And then when Cassie gets here, we've got hangers to put these open here, just large of everything. Um, all the spare stuff. We've got the park stools. And we've got the bargain stuff here. All the stuff that's like from last season, and bits and pieces that we're flogging super cheap. Who else is here? Let's go and have a look. They're setting up right next to us. We got a three by three. Coop had to outdo us with a six by three. The big Unite thing. Coop's first ever show and he's really, really happy. Wait till you see how happy he is. Here he is, he's Mr. Happy. Oh look, he's got a head, he's got a face on the back of his head anyway. Yeah, so which one do you want us to talk to? The back one. We'll talk to his, uh, talk to his reflection. Andrew, how has it been at the show? Yeah, amazing. Are you really happy? Yeah, I love What's it. Gonna, what are you going to be doing? Yeah, we're fucking Batman you, you in a You've finished your tattoos now, haven't you? What oh, are they nice. like? Which one's your new one? Let's have a look. <laughs> Right, lift him up. Really <laughs> lift him up, Jack. Really well at this. <laughs> so I've just been for a rip out of the gate to see Wifey and give her a, a wristband. And this is Thursday, 20 to 4. It's getting very busy. Massive queue. There's the pin flag. Or even sticker. And uh, yeah, this is ace. It's sunny. Loads of people are coming to the mall and it's exactly what what we want, isn't it? Oh. Hmm? Mr. Payton is here. Drink agua. I didn't think I'd get an, an interview with you this weekend because I know you're going to be super busy. I am busy. Do you know what? Should we have a sit down quite Yeah, okay. come on. Thank you, Mr. Dancer. You're welcome. I've got to say, I haven't been as excited about any event in a long time. I don't know why. I'm really excited about this. And I just went out and met the wife and gave her a wristbands and I had to draw, ride a long way in the queue. So you've got stacks of people coming in and it made me very happy. I know, it's Thursday afternoon. I'm and, buzzing for and you. And they're, they're queuing to the road. We, I I've had to send someone to, to zip them along. So yeah, it's awesome. Um, fantastic support from all the industry people here, you know, especially GT, Cannondale, uh, but all the other trades, about 100 traders here. So they, they've all got behind it, which is yeah. awesome. Um, we're lacking a few people though, uh, you know, the bike industry's mad at the moment, like, yeah. you know, they haven't got anything to display or sell, yeah. so they're like, you know, we, we can't come, mm. so I understand that, that's fine, but, uh, you know, big setup. I spoke to the security guard the other night, security, and he said, I've never been to a, fe a festival where the fun fair is free for the kids. Really? I think I was like, yeah. Right. So yeah, so you got the fun fair over there, you got the downhill track with the, with the balanced bike racing that's going to go on as well, you got dirt wars, dirt jumps there. 
Um, we've got the pump track. Which hasn't turned up yet. Yeah. So a lot of things haven't turned up, have been a problem. Stayed up till half 12 last night, paid for that to come a day earlier in case there was any problems. That had a blowout on the motorway last night. Unbelievable. Um, and you know what, honestly, about eight out of the 12 logistics people that I work with bailed on me this year in the last two months. But having said that, the last time we did an interview about this was here in 2018, 19. 19 when it rained. When it rained and yeah. we had to do that horrible video about, you know, literally a few days after you'd said to everyone we can't do it yeah then we had the special last year which we don't even want to talk about no and it's happening that's the main thing so yeah it's been hard yeah it's been, it's been emotionally hard and physically hard yeah. um and financially crippling because it's just yeah. it's just a nightmare to organize an event at this current moment of time there's no lorry drivers yeah it's just everything's a nightmare mm. it's all been last minute people turning up actually delivering on time yeah. that you've ordered months ago so yeah it's, it's happening it's the Morvans it's that annual pilgrimage that you and I would remember yeah, you, know, you say yeah. like we're going to Morvans yeah. that's the one day of the year and you know the weather gods have just blessed us this, the internet guys just left and said you're the only place in the country that's hot and sunny wow um, so yeah come along you know the Morvans uh We've already got plans for next year, just mm. to be bigger and better. Um, but you know, there's gonna be about 7,000 people here uh, having fun, it's great for the kids. So stay tuned. Jim, of course, is gonna be bringing lots of, uh, lots of coverage from the event. What are you looking forward to, Jim? Uh, I'm looking forward to, I'm racing myself even though injured. It's gonna be a bit scary. Oh, here we go. But. An excuse book out, Jim. Yeah, I know, yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Great. There goes me. Yay. There you go. Cuts, Copyright cuts. claim. Right. We've had a reshuffle. Cabinet reshuffle. Those are moved to there. Rocky have supplied us with a few more bike stands. So they're all in a row there. Um, and a Rocky flag. So we've got three of the four corners done. Front of house now is this lot. And then we got all the bargain stuff on there. And Coop's uh, thingy robots and lasers doofer there, which looks cool. Cali tape at the back. And then we've got all the t-shirts and merch here. And uh, I added these because they're all slipping downhill and it looks quite cool. We got all the special show prices. I made that this morning. I did Yeah, but well, what didn't you put on it? What didn't you put on it? What? The stems, Coop's stems. Oh, yeah, Egypt. So, talking of Coop's stand, here it is. Coop's stand. You know, it's all done now. This is his 3D printed front end of his frame that's coming out. Absolutely awesome. By the time you watch this, that will have been on the media. Um, put together, made by these guys here. Other sponsors who we work with, 76 projects. So they are set up too, and there's some more of their 3D printed frames that they've done. Look at that little balance bike by Deviate for Deviate. That's so cool. There we go, more 3D stuff. Thank you. Cheers, Jim. And uh, yeah, Coop's stand for his first ever stand at a show. Oh, I'm really impressed. All the stuff here. When a lot of the biking. Uh, Biking people in the world are short of components. Coop is just short. And his t-shirts, even got merch. <laughs> so what do you reckon? It's filling up now. This is we are now on quarter to six. I think doors are about to open. People are here and camping, but they're not actually allowed in the pits for another quarter of an hour. But uh, then over here we have the awesome Sean. With the awesome eye on. All right, Jim. Hello. That was a great display here. As a lot of you know, we use the eye on stuff, and we have done for several years now. Check it out. You know it's ace. Proper quality. And we got some new. The shoes on display. The new ones. Top ones. New colorway for the shoes. What do you reckon to that? Give us your comments. Oh, and the socks that I should have had on. When I did that, you haven't got any more of them, have you? Will have. Sound. 
more ion shizzle in here and then next door another sponsor we got cali i'm gonna squeeze into here so you've seen that we use these helmets but this is what we are getting soon it's the full face downhill lids right so every night there is a pump track challenge and todd has entered into it so i'm going to go and have a look and see how he's getting on Racers. <laughs> whoa how many are registered like 10. oh really yeah he might do all right might get a top 10. yo we're gonna have a go at the pump track and i think there's a race i'm not actually sure what's going on but we'll go to it Right, so everyone's had a uh, practice. Oh, yes! Check the, the little mic. Buchanan, where are you? Hey, all right, is it all right, son? We're doing a rolling start. Not that rolling. You start where the geezer is with a cap. So this is Rory on his tiny little bike. In three, two, one. Oh, is he going to double it off at least? Oh, look at that go! Yeah! Oh, Stanley! And now we got Todd Buchanan. Riding for Pin TV. I bet stopping him there. His dad's busy filming him in his wife beater. Jim Buchanan there. Can you not afford a proper t-shirt, Jim? No, mate. Okay, Todd Buchanan! Three, two, one, go! That's smooth. He is smooth. Making it look easy. And he's going over the line now! Oh, that was super smooth, super fast. That is the end of the Thursday. There's quite a few people in here now. It's been, uh, we started letting people come in at six o'clock. Mm, sold a hoodie, but nothing special. But uh, tomorrow is when it's gonna be busier. Now I've got to get all these bikes and all the merch. I'm gonna walk it back up to the van. So guys, thank you for watching this vlog on the Morvan's Classic. There will be more in three days time. Be sure to give us a subscribe, we're nearly at 20k. Like, comment, give us your comments on what you think about this festival. See you in three, keep it pinned. Ready to rock. So I'm finally getting to ride my bike. I'm not allowed my chest cam on, and I'm not allowed a half face. Well, I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I'm not putting any money on you, Jim, I'm afraid. Dad on the sprint. Come here, this is hard. You're the real deal, aren't you? 2.7k. Uh. <laughs>